hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix this site can't be reached error while opening any kind of website on your google chrome in windows 10 and windows 11. now before starting with the troubleshooting steps i would like to recommend you that kindly confirm and assure that the problem is not with the website because many time i have seen many people they keep doing the troubleshooting step and finally they get to know that the problem is with the website for example right now you can see a website that says this site can't be reached but the problem is not with my computer the problem is with the website as i tried opening this website on multiple devices and i got the same message so that indicate that the problem is not with my device not with my browser but the problem is with the website all right so you can also do the same try to open the same website on another device and if you get the same message then it means that you have the problem with the website but if not then what you will have to do next minimize everything click on your windows search type inet cpl dot cpl hit the enter key the internet properties will be up now here from the top menu option you have to click on content then click on clear ssl state then click on ok then from the top menu option only click on advanced then click on restore advanced setting then click on apply and then click on ok and now bring up your google chrome browser then click on the three dot at the right and top then click on settings then from the left hand menu option click on privacy and security then click on clear browsing data now here it should be selected to basic you have to choose it to advanced time range make it to all time and here you have to clear the cookies and the cached images and file but i would recommend you that kindly delete the browsing history the download history and other information from here you can keep password and autofill form data unchecked rest you can check all the item once you are done click on clear data and once it's been done from the left hand menu option only click on reset settings then click restore setting to their original default and then click on reset setting again all right once it's been done finally close the chrome browser next click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now here you will find all kind of your network connection now you need to look for the one through which you are connected let's say i'm connected with wi-fi so i will make a right click on it then click on properties here you will find internet protocol version 4 make a double click on it and here below you will find use the following dns server address so choose the second option and in the preferred and alternate dns we can either use the google or cloudflare dns address i'm using the cloudflare but if you want to use google so the both the ip will be in the description so in the preferred you have to type one space one space one and one in the alternate you have to type one zero zero and one now click on ok click ok again now right click on your wi-fi or ethernet adapter whichever you're using and choose disable once it's been disabled wait for a couple of seconds again make a right click on it and choose enable now after this again check back if the problem has been fixed by opening the same website but still if you have the issues then next right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left in menu option click on network and internet then click on vpn and here you have to assure that there is no vpn connected if any kind of vpn has been configured or connected then you will have to disable it once done go back then look for the proxy click on it and disable any manual proxy if it's been set up from here and now finally we have to move with the final step so click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt choose run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to run few command all this command you will find in the description 
So either you can manually type or you can copy and paste from the description. So the first command will be NETSH space WinSock space reset. Hit the enter key. Then type NETSH space WinSock space reset space catalog. Again hit the enter key. Next type NETSH space INT space IPv4 space reset space reset dot L O G. Again hit the enter key. And now the final command will be IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Now after applying all these commands, you will have to finally restart your computer. And now the next time when you will try to open that website, it will be loading up even much faster and without any kind of problem. So that's all guys. Hopefully this solution will work for you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section which method worked for you. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.